Hi, this is Travis with Mr. Detail. Today I'm showing you how to install window tint on this Polaris Ranger with our pre-cut window tint kit. When you get the kit, it will come in a box similar to this. The tint will all be rolled up in here, ready to go. This pre-cut window tint requires very minimum trimming at the most. Uh, with this kit today includes our install kit. The other tools that you'll need that you'll have to supply on your own are a spray bottle filled with water and a trigger, some Johnson & Johnson's baby soap or something similar, single edge razor blades for scraping the glass, and then microfiber towels. So I'm going to show you how much uh, Johnson & Johnson's you need in your water. So this is just regular tap water. If you have dirty water, you want to filter it or get distilled water. And then you're just going to put a couple drops in here like that. You don't want too much because otherwise the tint will slide a lot, but you want enough. It will also depend on the temperature of the area that you're in. The warmer it is, the more soap you need. The colder it is, the, le the less soap you'll need. So now I'm going to clean the outside of the window. We're going to use the outside of the window as our peel board where we place the tint before we stick it on the inside. So I'm going to clean this. I'm going to clean this frame anywhere that the window tint could potentially touch. You might want, if your machine's real dirty, you might want to wash your machine with a pressure washer before doing this. I'm going to go back to the box here and grab our pre-cut kit. When you unroll this, the way you can tell it's the right window for the right side is there's going to be extra liner and you can feel. So you want to take it up and compare it to the window and the liner should be towards you, which is the clear part. The clear part ultimately goes in the garbage. But I'm going to talk about how to prep this window. The first thing you want to do is anything that's framed, you want to take your soapy water and just spray and wipe all your seals and anything that the film's going to potentially touch you want to wipe off the dirt especially if you got a very dirty machine you might even want to take and do an extra good interior clean before you go to install your film part of installing window tint is all on the prep so i'm going to roll down this window and i'm even going to spray inside these gaskets and wipe inside these gaskets all the way around ensuring that this is perfectly clean. Then I'm going to clean the inside of the glass. So I'm going to take this single edge razor blade that you can get at any body shop, parts store, even Fleet Farm Menards. I'm going to spray the glass and I'm going to take this single edge razor blade. I'm going to keep it pretty flat to the glass and I'm going to scrape all this glass, getting any grit or debris. And you should be able to hear if you get any grit or debris. And you want to scrape it twice. The cleaner, the better. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to scrape this whole window, getting behind the gaskets and under the gaskets. And the soapy act water is going to act as the lubricant so your razor blade can glide across the surface. So once I scrape the bottom half, I'm going to roll down the window a quarter of the way and I'm going to take a towel and I'm going to wipe my top edge with a towel to ensure that the top edge of this is clean. I'm going to spray my top edge with the stuff that I haven't scraped yet and I'm going to scrape the whole top of the window. I'm just going to spray it again. Now that the whole window is scraped, it's prepped to do our outside work. We're going to use this outside piece of the glass as our peel board where we uh, put place the tint before we install it. So we're going to want to spray everything down and we're going to want to wipe it. If your machine's really dirty, you're going to want to pressure wash it or wash it before you do this or start on the machine. So I'm going to wipe everything. I'm going to go to our box. I'm going to grab the uh, pre-cut window tint for the passenger side. And the way you can tell that this is the pre-cut for the side is you can unroll it and there'll be excess plastic liner. And that plastic liner should face towards you. And you'll look at the window, kind of hold it up and this is our passenger front window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to anchor it down using our supplied 
tool to get it to kind of press to the glass. Now, nothing's sticking here. This is, we haven't peeled any of the liner. So I'm just gonna press this to the glass so it's anchored so when I go to lift the liner off, it doesn't peel, pull the tint with it. So I'm gonna go into the in inside. We've already scraped our window. We're going to spray soapy water on the glass. We're gonna get use our supply tool and we're gonna take and squeegee out all the soapy water. And this is ensuring any dirt that's on the window is off. And I'm wiping my blade each time with this microfiber to get any sort of dirt off. I'm gonna wet it again. And you wanna do this two times. You wanna fish the supplied tool behind the gasket to clean behind the gasket where there's any dirt. You're gonna to wanna to do this with your garage doors closed with your heater or fans off. You want as little air movement as possible. Now that I've scraped and squeegeed the window twice, I'm going to wet the window. In preparation for the install, I'm gonna to go to the outside. I'm gonna peel my liner and I'm gonna spray it. Now when you spray it, you wanna spray just the tint. You don't wanna spray the glass because you can rinse the dirt into the film. You're gonna do a half peel on this. And without touching too much of the film, you wanna carry the film inside the cab. Your film and your window are wet with the soapy water. And you just wanna place the film on the glass without touching too much of the outside edges of gaskets or any door panel. Once it's in position, I'm going to roll this window up a little. You, the soapy old water is going to allow you to shift this pattern to where you need it to go. So now that I'm where I need to go, I'm going to take my supplied tool I'm going to wet the outside of the film and I'm going to squeegee this film out. And this is going to work all the bubbles out. And you're just doing the top edge. You're going to get this anchored and you're going to roll through window and do the rest in a second. So now that I got this top anchored, I'm going to roll the rest of the window. And then I'm going to lift here the half the liner still on here. I'm going to spray this glass, rinsing any dirt or anything that could potentially be here down. And then you're just going to gently peel your liner off. That's going to go in the garbage. And you're going to spray underneath your film. And then using the supplied tool. And you can remove this bottom gasket if you'd like. It will make your install a little easier. But using the supplied tool, you can fish the black edge behind the gasket and you can start to work the film behind the gasket. These are very forgiving machines. They allow an easy install. Just take a little bit. So now I'm going to wet, now I've got the film fish behind the gasket. The gaskets do pull off easy on these Polaris machines. I suggest just pulling them off. It will make your life a lot easier. Just squeegee all this out. And you want to keep the film somewhat wet. Um, and you always want to be using the yellow side of your tool. And I'm putting okay pressure. You want to make sure you're not grabbing any bits of dirt from behind the gaskets. Wipe off your squeegee frequently. Grabbing dirt on your squeegee blade will scratch the film. So this is a fully tinted side window on a Polaris Ranger. All you want to do is you want to check your outside, looking for any bubbles that you can push out with your tool. I don't see any bubbles. So we'll move on to the back window. So we're working on the driver's side, same thing. We're going to spray soapy water and we're going to wipe this whole area, our work area down. Like I said prior, if your machine's real dirty, you'll want to pressure wash it and get the machine clean. So this is all wiped down. We're going to, on this one, we're going to remove the bottom gasket. 
the gasket removes very easily. Push this towards the center and just pull straight up. We'll set that inside. We're going to spray down all of our plastics. Anything that we might accidentally touch the film on, we're going to want clean. We're going to roll down the window and wipe the inside of our gaskets. Roll the window back up and then we're going to take our single edge razor blade and we're going to scrape the glass. So I'm going to wet the glass and I'm going to scrape, get any grit off. I like to do this twice just to ensure that the glass is clean. And just make sure that you run your razor blade behind the gasket, ensuring that there's no dirt or grit behind the gasket. Dirt or grit will, can rip the film or show bubbles later. I'm going to roll my window down a quarter of the way. I'm going to take a towel and I'm going to wipe this top edge, ensuring that there's no dirt here. You could do this with a lint free paper towel. I'm going to scrape this top three quarters again two times. I'm holding the razor blade very flat to the glass. So I'm going to razor blade for the second time, just ensuring that I get all the glass. Now I'm going to take the supplied tool, the yellow side, I'm going to spray the glass, and I'm going to squeegee it off, ensuring to get all the soapy water off the glass. And what you want to do is make sure, what this is doing is making sure that there's no dirt or lint or anything on the glass. I'm then going to go grab our pre-cut window from the box. Again, taking a look to see what way the liner faces. The liner is the clear part. The liner should face you. So now that the outside of the window is clean, this is the right way. We're going to wet the outside of the window, sticking this to the outside of the window with the liner facing us. And we're just going to spray a little bit of soapy water on the liner side, grab our supplied squeegee, and press this to the glass, kind of anchoring it. So that way when we peel the liner and wet the film, it doesn't lift away from the glass. So it should look something like this. Now we're going to go inside and we're going to squeegee our glass one more time to get it ready for the final install. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the glass for the install. I'm going to wet the whole glass. You want all the glass wetted. You want it start top to bottom to kind of rinse the dirt down if there is any. Then we're going to go outside. We're going to grab our and peel our liner. When we peel our liner, we want to wet our film, not rinsing any dirt from the glass grass, oh, glass in. I'm going to peel the whole liner and then you're going to carry it in with only touching the sides of the film and the back of the film. Once you got the film carried in, without touching the plastics, you're going to fish the film below where your gasket was. The soapy water is going to help this glide. And you're going to get it in its final position. So I just want to line up my top edge. Now it's in its final position. I'm happy with the top edge. I'm going to wet the film, use the supply tool, and squeegee out the water. Starting top to bottom.
You gotta be careful when you're squeegeeing, you kinda wanna put pressure up with your thumb up here to kinda hold it in place. Until you squeegee out the majority of the water, it will shift. You wanna make sure you're maintaining your gap. Up top, now that I've got the top all squeegeed out, I'm gonna roll up my window. There's still a couple bubbles down here where I couldn't reach. I'm just gonna re-wet it, and I'm gonna squeegee these couple bubbles out. You really want to push behind your push behind your gaskets to get all the water out of there, and then push behind here. Once that's done, you can clean the inside of your window, clean the outside. If there's any excess bubbles, you'll try to push them out with your card, and then reinstall your gasket.